Hey guys, did you just book your flight to Kefalonia and now looking for recommendations for things to do and places to visit? Well, I got you. Let's talk about it. Last month, I was fortunate enough to visit the beautiful island of Kefalonia. And take note, I said beautiful. I live half of my life in Philippines and we have amazing islands there. So me saying Kefalonia is beautiful is not an exaggeration, guys. Definitely not. Kefalonia was nice, peaceful. The weather was beautiful. It was sunny all the time I was there. The people are so friendly and the food is amazing. That all is true if you know where to go. Hello guys, I hope you're doing well. My name is Ace. Welcome to my channel, Asiatic TV, where I post travel videos, music, product reviews, and many more. So if that's something that interests you, please don't forget to subscribe. By the way, I just wanna say Kefalonia has been on my bucket list for quite some time now. I actually booked two tickets before this one. So for me, it's third time lucky. I wasn't gonna let Corona beat me, guys. Na 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 na. Anyway, with all that being said, let's go ahead with the recommendations. These recommendations are in no particular order, so make sure you plan your trips, your visits ahead, so at least you can maximize your holidays and not waste any time. So number one, Argustoli. So basically, Argustoli is Kefalonia's town center. It's the capital. This is where it's happening, guys. Get me? This is where you shop. This is where you eat. This is where you book your tours, your car rentals, hotels, nightlife, cruises, day trips. You name it, Argustoli have the answer. There are also a lot of places to eat here by the harbor if that's your sort of vibe very beautiful especially when you're with your loved ones you know some romantic gestures there oh yeah there are cool bars with djs live music and everything is open late so if you're like me and you're sort of a late person who wants to eat late and go out late there are a lot of places and restaurants that will cater for your needs honestly on my first day in Kefalonia I got there around 1 a.m. and I just dropped my bags in my accommodation went straight to Argustoli and to my surprise everything is open so for me it's really good when it comes to wellness as well, Argustoli has the answer. There's spa, massages, yoga, beauty, and well-being. Everything is there for you to explore. It's a nice place also to be your base. Argustoli is only 15 minutes from the airport, so a lot of tourists book to stay here. So hence, it really gets busy is to jump back there especially on summer so make sure you book ahead on time to avoid disappointment number two fiscardo fiscardo is probably the most famous village in kefalonia this village is on the southernmost tip of the island so if you are staying in argustoli and you are driving it's about one hour and a half to two hours it depends also on how you drive and the people that drives in front of you because man driving there is a bit some it's something else but like the famous quote said it's not the destination it's the journey because the drive 
up there guys the scenery it's amazing especially if you like driving on scenic routes wow you will enjoy it definitely now i like fiscardo village but i also think it's the most hype and overrated in my opinion don't get me wrong the village is beautiful the venetian architecture amazing and you know there's a lot of things to do and see but for me it sometimes it just so expensive and it get really crowded in there there are loads of amazing restaurants although be it expensive like i said you can also do a boat trip there you can do island hopping to uh, the island called Itika, you can swim there kayak actually scrap that swimming there because there's actually a lot of beautiful beaches in Kefalonia if you really want to swim swim word of warning though Fiscardo can be pretty hectic because there are so many ships that dock in Fiscardo so one minute it's nice relaxing you're enjoying yourself and suddenly there will be rush of people they come in abundance so make sure you prepare your trip so who knows when you're on your trip there won't be any ships that be docking there I was just probably unlucky when I was there oh. by the way I actually have a travel video of Kefalonia there's part one and part two and in part one you will see if you watch that video you will see that i was in fiscardo and there's some ships docking with loads of people in there and if you're one of those people that was in my video and you're watching now please give this a thumbs up so we're on to number three tres it's asos asos or asos now i like asos there's something about this village it's very quaint pretty picturesque little village it's so nice it's hold a special place in my heart it's just you know those typical little pretty villages i think that's what asos is for me at least for me cars and coaches anything that is motorized vehicle are not even allowed in the village so you have to park your car just by the entrance of the village and then you walk to the village which is I think it's pretty nice it gives you that mysterious dramatic entrance going to an unknown village which is yeah I find it quite nice you can hike and explore the village there's also interesting architecture there there's also a lot of ruins in there I'm not sure if that's with the earthquake that happened before or they're just abandoned places and apparently some of those places are haunted <laughs> but yeah they are pretty haunted apparently you can also swim in asos they have a little beach i mean i even recommend swimming there in asos rather than swimming in fiscardo because the water there is still it's nice because it's located in a cove you can even hire a jet ski you can hire a boat there's loads of tavernas there you can eat i think one of the most amazing fish that i ate a grilled fish which is so simple right but it's just so fresh and the scenery there looking at the beach is just amazing it just made everything nice so yeah I really love ASOS and I'm sure you will too number four cuatro is Sami now Sami is also one of my favorite places in Kefalonia. It's a coastal town located on the east coast, east baby, east coast, <laughs> east coast of the island. In my opinion, the scenery in the east is completely different from going up north. Driving up there, I've noticed it's a little bit more hilly and mountainous as essentially you're driving inland rather than when you're going to Fiscardo, you're driving at the edge of the island, which is a totally different view. It's also a lot more foresty and full of lush pine trees, which is when I was driving, I opened my window and I just smelled the freshness in the air, which is, <laughs> yeah, amazing. 
so I also imagine there's a lot of good hiking spots in there because like I said it's more mountainous and foresty so I'm sure if you love hiking there's a lot more to explore when it comes to Sami and the other villages inland as soon as I reach Sami the road opens up I feel like the town is much bigger as the roads get wider there are also a lot of shops there shops and then houses on top shops houses on top and loads of them I think they were built at the same time when it comes to amenity you're sorted there if you're staying in Sami so things to do in Sami you can visit the nautical museum and learn about the rich naval history of Sami and Greece in total there is also the Agrilla monastery that was built in the 18th century you can also explore the ruins of Saint Panedon nearby which offers great panoramic views the Ionan waters and the nearby island which alone I think it's worth the visit to Sami just make sure you check the opening times before you go there as it varies through different season like everywhere in Kefalonia Sami also have beautiful beaches and the most popular one is Anti Samos Anti Samos it feels like a villain a name of a villain this is for my old school peeps out there if you read the book or watch the film Captain Corelli's Mandolin which stars Nicolas Cage and Penelope Cruz if you seen that movie the setting there on the beach that is Anti Samos so you know it's absolutely beautiful you need to check that film out However, if you want a smaller beach, they also have Caravamilos Beach and Lutro Beach, which are also nice. It's just a bit smaller and quieter because they are less famous than Antisamos. And of course, your visit in Sami will not be complete without seeing all oh, there's loads of police. That's like a drum roll for the next recommendation. Melisani Cave. You cannot not go there. Seriously, Melisani Cave is probably one of the most famous places to go in Kefalonia. One of the most Instagrammable places to see. It's a cave <laughs> with no roof. So that's, that's Melisani Cave the water is so clear you can see so deep i don't even need to explain what melisani cave is you guys probably have that in your bucket list if you book yourself a flight to kefalonia if you're looking for an instagram worthy photo video opportunity then melisani cave is for you it's one of the most visited places in kefalonia hence it can be very busy so I recommend you to go there early so at least you can beat the crowds plus you will have more time to do something else there's also another cave attraction there near Sami which is Drogarati cave granted it's not the same as Melisani cave but if you just want a standard cave you, you got that option what I mean by standard is it has a roof it's a cave it's a normal cave but obviously there's lots of interesting things there to see as well so yeah make sure you put that on your list too bonus tip for my people who loves camping like me check out Caravamilos beach campsite that's probably one of the best campsite in Kefalonia it has all the amenities it even has a swimming pool and a children's playground and plus it's right by Caravamilos beach so if you like that sort of vibe something cheap when it comes to accommodation check that out now the next few recommendations that I have are all beach locations so if you're like me who likes chilling in the beach getting your tan on listening to music or just listening to the waves of the ocean then keep on watching because I got a good list of beaches for you number five 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 Cinco which is Petani Beach Petani Beach is located in the peninsula of Pelaki. This beach is a nice beach with 
crystal blue waters, stunning landscape, and a backdrop to match. Although Petane Beach is in a cove, beware as the waves could sometimes be strong as it's coming from the Ionan Sea and the Adriatic Sea. If you have kids with you, keep an eye on them. Nonetheless, this beach is one of my favorite. Actually, on my last day in Kefalonia, my flight was at night time so I stayed there from morning all through the night until my flight came. I just stayed there all day and um, I worked on my tan and my swimming skills which is non-existent. <laughs> There are tavernas there, there are bars, there are sunbeds, umbrellas, all the amenities that you need. Parking wise, out of all Kefalonia, this is the only place that I've seen that they charge for parking, which is in Pitani Bay. So pro tip, what I did is park just before the houses. As soon as you go down, you see the houses, but before that, there's some parking space there it's a bit of a walk to the beach but if you want to save like i think it's seven eight euros just park there and walk down so yeah thank me later or buy me coffee instead of parking there it's not compulsory <laughs> link down below number six sa s is mirtos Beach. This is probably one of the beaches that's already in your radar. Myrtos Beach is probably one of the most recognizable, famous beach out of all Kefalonia, all, all in Greece. It's been described the most dramatic beach in Greece. Some people say the whole world, but um, uh, I don't agree with that one. But nonetheless, it's really amazing there. It's beautiful there. Need I say more? So Myrtos Beach is located on the foot of two mountains. The Agia Dinati Mountain and the Kalon Oros Mountain. Dramatic settings, huh? As well as Pitani Beach, you have everything there when it comes to amenities. Parking is free, which is good. There is also an option to do paraglide there because I've seen loads in there. By the way, before you go to Myrtos Beach, make sure you go to the Myrtos viewpoint upstairs. <laughs> upstairs. I mean on top because it's a mountain right you have to go down so make sure you go to the viewpoints there is one from the south and one from the north whichever you're coming from you you can utilize those viewpoints for some Instagram photos because I know you guys love your Instagram photos yeah make sure you utilize those bonus tip man you're getting a lot of bonus tips on these videos bro anyway bonus tip if you have a short time or you're only staying for a few days what you need to do is hit several spots in one day you can actually spend a few hours in Fescardo Beach which is all the way up in the north and then you go down to Assos to have some lunch and explore the area a bit of hike and then after that you can go to Myrtos and go for a day of swimming and just chilling in the beach then you can head back down to Argostoli for dinner that's what I did all in one day mm -hmm. Also, Myrtos Beach is a good place to watch the sun go down, the sunset, the golden hour. So make sure you stay for that. If you want the good sunset, stay on that beach and then drive back to Argostoli later for dinner. I said dinner twice now. I'm hungry. Number seven. Seven? Seven. Siete, which is Sai Beach, the Greek letter. X, I, Sai. So up until now, all the beaches that I recommend are a bit pebbly, sandy mix, not really fine sand beaches. But Sai Beach is unique. Sai Beach has this orange and reddish sand and it's really fine, which is unique. Apparently, it's due to the clay content in the area. I even see people putting it in their faces, sort of a mud pack. 
I mean, I should have done that while I was there. Now, Sai Beach is good for families. The amenities there are really good. You have complete amenities. I also find the water there is very gentle compared to Myrtos or Petani. So it's really good for kids. They can even go further along the shore. You can hire boats, you can hire jet skis. I even saw like a banana boat right there. If that's your sort of thing. Um, people are fishing. There's also a lot of hotels there, bars. I imagine it's good for nightlife there as well because when I was there, it's in the afternoon, DJs are already playing and there's a lot of people dancing already. So I think they do serious parties there. Getting there though, Sai Beach is on the other side of the island. So if you do not want to drive all the way up there, the easiest way to go there is by ferry. I was only going to do 7 recommendations but I cannot pass this one. Number 8, Ocho is for the adventure seekers, the risk takers who like something different. Well, it's still a beach recommendation but it's a little bit something different than the other ones that I recommend. Number 8 is Fiteri mm. Beach. Fiteri Beach is probably one of the hidden gems of Kefalonia. I emphasize on the word hidden there because it's really hard to get to there. What you need to do is you need to trek for about an hour. If you guys know my channel, I do a lot of hiking videos. I love hiking, but on this instance, there is no trail. All you need to follow is red stones, which is if you're not aware like me, you can get easily lost and get off track but however if you want to go in Feteri the easier way is you go to Sola it's a small fishing village and you hire a water taxi yes that's what they call them they do exist water taxis now why is this such a hidden gem it is because it's mostly untouched. It's in its natural form, a natural beauty. There's nothing there. There's no amenities. There's no sunbed waiting for you. There's no umbrella waiting for you there. There's no bars and tavernas that you can eat if you got hungry. So make sure you bring everything with you. However, if you're looking for a natural beauty, good landscape, turquoise blue crystal waters blah 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 blue crystal clear waters secluded and peaceful this is the beach for you so number nine i said i'm only going to give you seven but i gave you eight and i gave you nine and i gave you loads of bonus tips what more do you want uh, <laughs> so number nine these are my honorable mentions the beaches that i always go to because I was based in Caravados, which is, I think, is one of the great base if you want to explore the whole island because it's in the middle so you can go all the way up north south east west so these are my honorable mention number one is we're back to number one saint thomas beach or agios thomas beach which is near my accommodation so i think since i've learned about that place i've been going there every morning to um dip for a swim for a coffee there's a little taverna there so i go there i think four or five times while i was there the other one is Spartia beach which is also near to my accommodation it's a little bit hard to get to but it's a nice quiet little beach there's also a good restaurant on top of it and there's also yoga there if you want to do yoga the last one is pesada beach pesada beach is also nice you have to go to this residential area first and then there's little stairs there to go down and once you go down there you'll see the beach Pesada Beach is a bit of a rocky beach and sometimes it can be very busy because there's a port nearby but on quiet times it's good for a swim, people are even snorkeling, it's a really nice beach. Instead of you settling on the little beach as soon as you go downstairs, head to your right 
and hike a little bit be careful with the rocks you really need to do some balancing there and there's sort of a hidden spot which is beautiful well that's it those are my top recommendations for places to go and things to do in Kefalonia and if you find this video helpful please like share comment and subscribe and do all those good stuff and I see you on the next video Peace.